long stitch book binding is where pages of a book are sewn into the cover. You don't need glue and the pages will lay flat. There are many types of long stitch bindings, but we will look at the simplest one. It's very similar to a pamphlet stitch. To make this book, you'll need a cardboard food box for the cover, paper for the inside pages, a pencil, thread or floss, a needle, scissors, and a ruler. First, take apart the cardboard food box and lay it flat. We will be using three sides of the box as the cover for our book. Two of the bigger sides for the covers and the smaller side for the spine. Carefully trim away the extra flaps of the box. You could either cut these flaps with scissors or tear them using a ruler as a straight edge. When your box is trimmed down to three sides, use a ruler to measure the length and width of the cover. These measurements will help us make the pages for our book. Double the width of the cover as the pages will be folded in half. It may be helpful to write these measurements down. Transfer these measurements to the paper you are using for the pages using a ruler and pencil. After measuring your pages, use a scissor or ruler as a straight edge to trim them. Repeat this process for the rest of your pages. When your pages are all cut to the correct size, fold each of them in half. When this is finished, count how many pages you have and split them up equally into different sections of pages, called signatures. The number of signatures you have will depend on the size of your spine, but you should limit each signature to no more than eight pages. I had three signatures of pages, one made of brown paper and two made from white copy paper. Next, make holes in your signatures. To do this, take one page, open it up, and measure three holes evenly spaced on the spine with the ruler. This is where we will sew the pages onto the cover. After the holes are measured, Place the page in the middle of the signature and use a needle or push pin to carefully poke holes through the pages. Repeat this process on the rest of your signatures using the original page as a template. Next, make holes in the cardboard cover where each set of pages will go. Since I have three signatures or sets of pages, I used a ruler to make three marks evenly spaced apart on the inside of the spine near the top and bottom of the cover. I then used a ruler to connect the marks on the top and bottom. Then, use one page with holes as a template to make holes on the cover. Carefully line up the page on the marks of the cover and use a push pin or needle to make the holes. Then, sew your signatures into the cover. This step is the same process as making a pamphlet stitched book. Be sure to check out our previous video on how to do this. Measure your thread or floss to three times the length of your cover and begin stitching each signature into the cover using the pamphlet stitch video and this picture as a guide. Take your time lining everything up and be sure to pull the string tight before tying it off. Repeat this step for the rest of your signatures. 